Hey everyone, it's Ben here down at the basement workbench. I've been spending a lot of time down here the last few nights with my kids, uh, getting them interested in hobby electronics, which has been pretty fun. Um, it all started with some new little breadboards that I just got. Picked these up off of Amazon. They're about six bucks for a five pack of these things. They're not very big, but just enough to hold a you know, an IC chip and maybe a few other components. What we ended up with was this little electronics board. Uh, we've got the breadboard, some components, batteries, motor, and uh, I've had a lot of fun building this with the kids. I'll give you a little uh, overview of what we built and how we built it, and um, hopefully give you some ideas of stuff you can try with your kids. So here's a close-up of what we built. On the base, we've just got a, about a 4-inch square of MDF board that I cut out in the garage. Um, in the middle here, of course, we've got our breadboard. These ones I came with um, an adhesive backing that you could just peel off. Um, and then we just peeled that off and stuck it down to the board. Left a little extra space around the outside for uh, you know adding extra components and a little extra room at the top here for the battery. It's a set of three AAA batteries. And the holder here is actually the uh, the battery compartment that you find in these cheap LED flashlights that you can find just about anywhere. The whole thing slides out. You can put in three AAA batteries and you get a nice uh, four and a half volt battery holder here. So we drilled some holes through, zip tied it down, and that is nice and secure. Those batteries should last a long time. And if and when they run out, we can just clip the zip tie and replace them. Not a big deal. Um, I'm sure there's better battery compartments out there, but that's what I had on hand, and that works. As for the uh, the circuits here, uh, I happen to have a lot of LEDs in my collection of surplus electronics parts. Um, so I've got a, quite a few colors to choose from. My, my kids really enjoyed picking out different colors. Um, so I've got a couple different circuits going on here. Along this side, I've got um, all of them sharing the same positive voltage connection. And then it turns out my uh, blue, green, and white LEDs must be running a slightly different voltage than the others. Um, they are, they're running through the same value resistor on each, each circuit, but I've got them separated out here. Otherwise, if I put them all together, it, uh, some of them wouldn't light up. Anyway... So I've got these three running through this uh, 100 ohm resistor and then these three running through a different 100 ohm resistor and all of that is coming back into our push button switch which connects it back to negative back to the battery. So this is just a switch here to turn the lights on. Works pretty well. And then on the other side of the board, so we actually started out with uh, you know, just one or two LEDs, and they thought that was awesome. And uh, much to my delight, they came back the next night and said they wanted to add to it, so we added more. We're up to six on this one. And then, the night after that, they wanted to do some more work on their little electronics project, so I busted out this uh, these cheap toy motors. I have some uh, a collection of salvaged DC motors from disk drives and broken toys and, you know, whatever else I've taken apart over the years. Um, so we've just soldered on a couple of new wires here. These happen to be uh, solid core copper wire, uh, solid core so they would insert more easily into the breadboard as opposed to that stranded wire which would fray and would not work well on a breadboard. So just put on a length, couple lengths of wire, zip tied it down to the board, uh, hooked up a circuit to it, just hooked up straight voltage off the batteries through a switch and back to negative. And I've got a, just put a piece of tape here around the spindle. Uh, my oldest decorated it with some colored Sharpies. He had a lot of fun with that. And uh, having the tape on there lets them uh, easily see it spinning around. And if they touch it, they can't hurt themselves. So, bonus there. So in the end, we've got a pretty sturdy little electronics playground that uh, the kids are having a lot of fun with. And uh, there you have it. 
So I guess what I really like about this project, besides the fact that it was really fun to build with my kids, is that it's starting to teach them at a real basic level that electronics aren't this mysterious black box that can't be understood. Uh, any of the seemingly complex electronic devices that are out there can be broken down into small components. Uh, there's just, you know real basic concepts at play here that uh, and, and having everything on a breadboard here that they can play with and rearrange and reconfigure uh, as much as they want uh, sort of hopefully instills in them the idea that you know they can hack on things they can change stuff they can make something from scratch in the meantime they're having a blast turning on the lights and spinning the motor and just them knowing that they can take something you know seemingly complex and monkey around with it as much as they want is great so i had a lot of fun building this with them they had a lot of fun building it as well and who knows what will uh what will build off of this in the future but for the time being they're having a blast carrying these things around the house hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching